Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Antoine and today I will be discussing five things that I would do differently if I had to start my mobile detailing business from scratch. These insights are based on my own experiences as I have been detailing for the last three years. Obviously, I am not the most experienced detailer out there, but I did learn quite a few things along the way that I really think could help you out. So if you have just started your detailing business or are looking to start in the near future, definitely keep watching because these five things are gonna help you out a lot and make the whole process a lot smoother and easier for you. Okay, so the first thing I would do differently if I had to start over is definitely to start sooner. So I know this might sound a bit funny, but when I first even considered getting into the detailing world, I thought I needed every product, every tool, and to know absolutely everything about detailing, which I can tell you it is definitely not the case. You could start detailing with only two buckets, a wash mitt, a soap, a vacuum, some towels, and some brushes. So it's everything you need, it's not expensive, it's not difficult, and very easy to learn. But when I started, I bought absolutely everything I needed, over $5,000 of equipment and product, and I can tell you that it was definitely not better than having just the basics to start detailing. So if you think you need to know everything about detailing, like every little situation, what if this happens, what if uh, there's this in your client's car, I would say do not try to worry about that as much because what you're thinking now probably will never happen on a client's car or it is very rare. So. With just the basics, you can go around maybe 95% of the cars out there. So try not to worry as much about the small stuff. So start sooner, go on the field, get experience, because this is where you will learn the most. Get your process down, get more efficient, and get more clients faster. Now the second thing I would do differently if I had to start over goes a bit along the same side as the first thing, and that would be to not spend too much time and not to over-research products. I know it's quite easy to get into the rabbit hole of trying to find the best detailing products out there because I did get into that rabbit hole. I think I spent over hundreds of hours looking at product reviews, product comparison, and all those sorts of things which were pretty pointless because after watching all those videos, I found out that every reputable brand out there will do the job and that there is not that much of a difference between all those brands. So here are some that I recommend you choose from right from the start and not get into all of the product research as you will save a lot of time and will be able to put that energy onto something else more productive. Now I will recommend you only choose one brand when starting because normally all the products from that brand will have a nice synergy. So paired together, they're very efficient and they work the best. When starting, you wanna make sure it is as simple as it can be, so going with only one brand is the best you can do. My go-to for right now is DIY Detail, because that is what I find is the most efficient to get my detailing jobs done quicker. If you're interested, all the products I use are linked down in the description below. Moving on with the third thing I would do differently if I had to start over, and that would be to delegate more work. When I first started, I didn't start until I had a website done, which is not something I recommend. You can go on and do some jobs without adding a website. I don't know why I thought I needed one, but I did. And on top of that, I did it all by myself. So this was a huge learning curve as I was using something pretty advanced to build it with. But I had to watch and spend a lot of time on YouTube videos to try and learn how to do it. And at the end, it didn't even come out that great. And right after, I had to get someone to look at it again because it was not that well built. One more thing is my logo. I am not the artistic person, so doing a logo wasn't quite in my field. I'm not really good with those things, but I did try and do it, and turns out I had to change it three times because it was not like I wanted it. So the moral of the story is just to delegate more work if you are not experienced or do not have any knowledge in those things. I would definitely have someone check it out or make it for you if you have a friend, some family members, or just hiring someone to do it. 
I really think you should because this will save you so much time, struggle, energy and also you will have something you like right from the start and won't have to change as much as if you did it yourself as a beginner. So having a website, by the way, is not something you must have when starting, but in the future, it's always good to have one so your clients can get a look at your services, your brand, and also your pricing if you decide to put it on your website. Going on with the fourth thing I would do, which is a crucial thing to help you get more clients, more work, and to help you grow the business. And this would be related to your Google My Business page. That is the page where if someone types your services or your name inside Google, there will be your profile and a little map that shows where you're located. So that is a great way to get business. And one way to improve this is by getting reviews. This is also connected to some of the things I've said before. If you start sooner, you can get more jobs done and get reviews faster. So every job you do, I recommend if you don't get any clients, start with your family members, your friends, and after each job, ask them to just leave a review on Google about the experience, if they can get some photos of your work and the results you did on their vehicle, it's always great to have. Also a great way for all the people that are looking at your business and trying to figure out if they want your services or not to know if you do a good job. So when you look at reviews, if they're all good, you are more prone to getting those services from this exact business. Getting more reviews will also tell Google that you are active and normally the more reviews you have, the more they will show you inside the map when someone searches for detailing services. So if you show up first, well, you will probably get more clients because people normally click on the first business they see. So that was my tip that I learned in the three years that I've done. Now, all of my clients, I send them a link afterwards so they can send me a review and it greatly helps me out to grow my business. And lastly, the fifth thing that I would do differently is about my pricing. So when I started, I wanted to be the cheapest guy out there because I thought that would get me more jobs and that I could grow faster, which was a big mistake, but I was by far the cheapest guy out there and I was also doing mobile detailing. So I got all of those bad jobs and those kind of messy cars that other detailers wouldn't really want to get. And I was doing it at the lowest price out of them all. And by doing that, I realized I was not that profitable. Yes, I was profitable, but I did not get paid as much as I wanted to. And if I continued on with uh, those pricings, it would not continue to be worth it to do mobile detailing at all. So I decided to change my pricing and put it higher, which is definitely what I should have done. When I increased my prices, I did not notice any change in terms of quantity. So I got as many clients as I had before and I was getting paid more to do them. So what I want you to know from this is that when you are first starting, I know getting clients is quite hard, but I can tell you that putting your prices at a very cheap point is not going to help you out as much as you think it is because you will be getting all those bad jobs that take more time to do. And normally that would be those clients that want everything perfect. Getting those reviews may be quite hard as well. If you do not know how to price your services, you should definitely check out other detailers in your area and see if they show their prices on their website. Or you can even just call them and ask for their prices. So say, hey, I would be interested in an interior detail or exterior detail and ask them how much that would be. And then try and go around those prices in your business as well. You can maybe go a bit under them, but don't go too low and try to be the cheapest out of them all because you will not get as much quantity as you think you will by lowering your prices. Okay, so this would conclude the video, but I have one more tip for you guys. I just want to add a bit more value inside this video. And the last tip or the last thing that I should have done earlier would be to get on social media 
sooner. As we know now, everything revolves around technology and our cell phones. So getting on social media is really the best way to put yourself out there and your business. Try and get Facebook, TikTok, YouTube if you can, Instagram, and just put yourself out there. Show what you do, show the results you can get. That will also boost the Google search. So if someone searches for your name or services, you may show up uh, with your Facebook or other social medias, which is perfect for getting more clients, which in the end is what the main goal is. So there it is, five things I would do differently if I had to start my mobile detailing business from scratch. I really hope that this video will help you out and make you avoid all the mistakes I did when I started my detailing business. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment down below if you have any questions or any more tips of your own that you would like to share. Also, make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you want to see more detailing videos or business tips. It only takes five seconds and helps me out a ton. Now, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.